Totems of Undying are one of the most useful items in the game. But what if you could also craft custom totems, which give you brand new powers and brand new effects. But first we need to actually get hold of some totems. And don't worry, you can also craft normal totems as well. But to do that, I'm gonna need gold, I'm gonna need emeralds, I'm gonna be diamonds. <laughs> It's not cheap to craft a totem. And whilst I've got mushrooms, I might as well grab these as well. Since I get the feeling that food is going to be a little bit scarce. Perfect, I've spotted some dandelions. Now we can make a boat and some bowls and get the best food in the game. Probably do the wooden pickaxe as well. <laughs> might be useful. Upgrading it to a stone one will be even better. And finally, an axe and a shovel. Now I've got to decide the best way for me to get the emeralds, gold and the diamonds. A shipwreck would be perfect, but I'm... <laughs> I'm not seeing any oceans around here. So my best bet is probably to find a village. And up ahead, I see the perfect place for that, a plains biome. And a ravine. I, I need iron at some point, so I guess we might as well grab it from here. Already, I've got 17 iron from this one ravine. And in total, I have 30 iron, which is more than enough, but... I see more iron over there. I might as well go get it. Although I do not have to be careful. It is getting dark. I am in hardcore, remember, so... You know, you can't be too careful, especially when I don't have my totems. So let's craft a couple of pieces of armor so we don't have to worry too much about the mobs. A new axe, pickaxe, and shield will also be very useful. And finally, boots and a helmet. And an enderman. Okay, I am going to need enderpearls at some point to get the enderman totem. So let's plonk him in a boat. There we go. We can hopefully get one from him. There we go. We did. Perfect. All right, that's a great start. There's definitely a lot more mobs up here than, than when I went down that ravine. I'm going to collect some gunpowder as well, because that's going to allow me to get a creeper totem. You see, you've just got to plan ahead for all these things. And whilst we got creepers, my as well take the chance. And that is 10 gunpowder. I'm pretty sure that's enough. So the search for a village continues. Probably a good idea to take out some sheep to get some wool. And now that I have three of them, I can make a bed and get some sleep. Let's also now make a flint and steel and start cooking some food since I've completely run out of red mushrooms and I can't find any. And until I do find more, I don't really want to go hungry. I'm going to be so close to getting in the water yet. <laughs> Yet so far. Still no signs of a village, so we're probably best nipping into this cave and seeing if we can find diamonds. Obviously, I <laughs> chose the wrong cave. But this one does look a lot better. Oh, it goes into a mine shaft. All right, this is this is very good. You know, I'm just going to light you on fire. That's it. Skeleton, deal with that. And what have we got in here? <laughs> Our first piece of gold. We still need more, but that's a good start. And there's another chest here guarded by quite a few mobs. All right, don't blow up my, my beloved chest over there. In fact, we could get a... Um... Oh, go on. <laughs> that wasn't really what I planned. I was hoping to get a music disc, but we've got a golden apple. Very nice. I would have liked more bread, but I'll take the coal, I suppose. Look at this. He's stuck in a cobweb. <laughs> How do you feel about that skeleton now? You're completely... In fact, you're still, to be, to be honest, you're still doing a pretty good job of taking me out, but... Yeah, we're definitely way too high up at the moment to find what we need. Hey, a brand new pickaxe. I'll take that. We need to go down. That's it. Through here. <laughs> it looks like it's a dead end. No, it doesn't. Another enderman. All right, let's get you in a boat, good sir. All right, hopefully this is... If we can get him in a boat. Excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to do this. All right, you want to go in the boat? Skeleton, what did you just do? You released him in the... Okay, there's another Enderman there. <laughs> what is going on? The skeleton literally just shot the boat. Hopefully he doesn't hit the boat this time. Yeah, we got another ender Enderpearl. Nice. You have caused me a lot of trouble. Can you just get out of here? Let's also get this guy. Perfect. Pretty sure he should be one hit. Okay, well, two out of three isn't bad for Enderpearls. And look at this. Perfect, a ravine. Where on earth did you just drop from, Creeper? Well, you can stay there. You're not coming. Oh, well, he is coming down. This guy is a master. If I didn't know better, I'd think he'd take me out. And this is indeed the perfect place to be finding gold. So we're going to need four pieces in total. And we've definitely got four pieces available here. Let's pick up all that. There we go. Now we just need diamonds and emeralds. And I think I see diamonds, guys. I, I think I see... Yes, I do. Poor oh, Creeper. <laughs> creeper just jumped in. Now I'm on fire as well. This is not going well. So let's carefully mine around this diamond. You know, we don't want to lose it. It's just one. Now, I think I only need one anyway for now. So that's okay. But there's more around here. Perfect. Because actually... I'll need more than one because I need to make something else. I need two diamonds at the very least. So let's mine this. Is it still only one? I, I need like a, a good vein of diamonds, but I can probably sort out the diamonds later. I will still need two more pieces of gold. So let's go and hunt for those. Look at this guy. Imagine if he hit me in the lava. That would have been an amazing move, but <laughs> now you're in the lava. This is definitely the prime place for finding more diamonds. I mean, like I say, I don't necessarily need more, but gold, I... Oh, look at that. We are having a good, good time in this cave. And this time it's not just one diamond. It's at the very least two. Hey, that's... That's better than zero. And it's better than one as well. And I think for now, my main goal should be to get more gold, which I could do by searching this cave, but there's got to be a faster way. And that faster way is very, very simple. Just by quickly building another portal. Because let's be honest, there's probably no better place than the nether to be finding gold. And that is not a bad place <laughs> to have a fortress right by my portal. Okay, I, I should probably go to that fortress then. Before we do that, let's go and grab some of this gold. That guy's going to get angry. Excuse me, good sir. I'm, I'm just trying to steal gold here. Let's take you out. No more messing about. Grab all of these nuggets. From that, we got two more ingots. So we've got enough now for two totems. A little bit more gold here. It's probably worth me grabbing a bit of netherrack and then using that to go to the fortress. Because let's be honest, fortresses are a great place to find gold, diamonds, and 
all the good stuff. I can also use the opportunity to take out Blaze as well, which will actually let me get the Blaze totem later on. So yeah, I quite like the idea of this. Here's my first chest. See, what did I tell you? Perfect place to be getting gold. Another chest. Nothing really that useful. But if nothing else, I found a bit of gold hiding in the walls. I might as well quickly grab a load of blaze rods, then that's another job checked off the list. And then I'll head back to the overworld to get my emeralds. So I managed to use up my axe completely, so I'm making a new one. And now I've got 17 blaze rods. I think I can get out of here. Look at that, we got an 18th one as well. So let's jump across to here. And my portal is down there. Look at that. Already, we've pretty much done with the nether. I might be back for a bastion at some point, but we don't need to worry about that now. Completely forgot that my portal is right at the bottom of the world. Looks like I'm going to have to dig my way out. Now, it's back to village hunting. And it turns out there was a village pretty much right by where my cave was. My cave's there. The village is there. So all we now need to do is find a way to get emeralds. Also, on a completely unrelated note, what happens if you mine a beehive with your fist? The bees get angry and you lose it. Okay. I'm guessing silk touch is the only way. All right, we've got... Some good stuff, but, well, <laughs> apples and potatoes, since when's that? Did you just slam the door in my face? Anyway, back to business. We've at least got some hay that we can steal. Now I just need an unsuspecting farmer that I can scam. I don't see any, so I'm going to make my own. You good, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the... All right, obviously he doesn't want to be scammed. Are you serious? Instead, it's that villager that's absolutely miles away that's coming to get a job, and, and you're too lazy to. Well, good, sir, you're an idiot anyway, because <laughs> you're just going to be getting your own wheat. So let's give all that to him. We've got 10 emeralds, that's pretty good. And now it can be done. Two emeralds there, a diamond in the middle, four gold along the bottom. And I did something wrong. Turns out to be able to craft more totems like that, you first have to get a regular totem. Just give me one sec. I'm going to sail to a new land, track down a pillager outpost, successfully take out the captain, get back onto the ocean, loot a shipwreck on the way, which nicely leads me to buried treasure. Now this poor village is going to go through a raid, which really is a team effort between me and the golem. That allows me to get a totem. And to be quite honest, I've run out of food. Vex is an outcoming, so I, I don't like the sound of that. I'm going to leave that village to be doomed. Next, if we go to our crafting table, throw a totem on it, we now have this, which if we go like this, we will this time be able to craft a totem. We got a lot of diamonds from that, so we can actually craft more than one totem. And now I must decide what kind of totem I want to create. So far, food has been a big problem for me. So maybe if I make a pig totem, that could solve all my troubles. I have here the raw pork chops. We put the totem in the middle and we have a pig totem. I am also going to smelt a bit more gold because we have quite a bit. We could probably make three more totems. And since I spent so much time getting these blaze rods, let's make a blaze totem as well. There we go. I have no idea what this one does. I have no idea what any of them do, really. And with all these extra things, we can actually make three more totems. I guess all that's left for me to do now is, uh, is die. There we go. I'm going to jump. Oh, what's that? I need to hold the totem. Okay, good idea. There we go. And oh my goodness, my food problems truly are all solved. 32 pork chops, 32 golden carrots. Don't mind if I do. It is possible to make a bee totem if I get eight honeycomb. And there's already, I've seen two beehives that are pretty much full. I just need some iron. Also guys, we did hit 2 million subscribers this weekend. I just want to say a massive thank you to every single person that has subscribed to me. Let's dig down. It was the best way for me to find iron. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. From that, we can craft some shears. And these bees are going to get mad at me for this, but I'm just going to do that. And uh oh, I, I, I'm so sorry, bees. They're all going to die. This is all because I was too lazy to make a campfire. And you know what? I'm still too lazy. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Sorry, bees. Yep, you're, you're all going to die if you sting me. Man, you never normally get this many beehives in one area. Let's go like that. All right. Well, I think we got it. No, we didn't. It's on the ground there. We got to go back to the bees. There we go. So let's craft a brand new totem. Surround it in honeycomb. And is that just not the cutest totem you have ever seen? So now I've got a blaze totem and a bee totem. Now I've somehow got to find a way to die. Well, I've got flint and steel, so... Why don't we just slowly but surely burn? All right, here we go. We're so close. And... There we go. We got loads of honey from this. Okay, I just burnt some. Oh, no, we got other stuff as well. Potions of poison. Now, they would have been very useful in the raid. And honey is actually a good source of food, so... Yeah, I'll take that. What will we get from the blaze totem? Well, I'm <laughs> I'm going to drown and find out. And using this one gave me loads and loads of pretty cool stuff. Look at that, a fire aspect book. So if I get an anvil, I could use that. What's got thorns? Maybe I should try and make an iron totem and I can get loads of iron. Also, I'm very pleased with the fire resistance potions. They're going to be useful in the nether. Here is my master plan. We head to that shipwreck, grab loads of iron, plus get the buried treasure map, which leads to treasure right about here and gets me more gold. And you know, we don't need fish anymore. I would have liked diamonds, but not the end of the world. And then I craft a brand new totem, surround it in gold ingots, which gives me a piglin one. And then I'm going to jump from this height and hope that it kills me. There we go. And just as I suspected, we made a profit in gold. And that is how you use the gold that you have 
to get even more. Now let's make another totem, surround this one in iron, which gives us the iron golem totem. And now I can throw this to poison myself, jump from this very small height, and get loads of iron. It's also giving me protection too and feather falling books. I definitely need to craft this anvil and start repairing my armor and upgrading my armor. Look at that, a prot three iron chest plate. I'm very happy with that. Now to make any further progress, I'm gonna have to find more diamonds to make more totems. If I dig down on this patch of gravel, I've got a good chance of finding some. Unfortunately, it looks like the diamonds were either overwritten by the lava or by this dirt down here. Mission to find a cave has been successful, which means mission to find diamonds has been successful. Let's grab that, it's just... Did I really just burn the only diamond? <laughs> what is going on? Don't worry. Look at that. There's one diamond. Le no, there's, there's two. Okay. Let's grab that. This time, don't let it burn. Grab this one as well. Didn't burn either. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you always check behind the blocks. That gives me two more totems. And I think I'm going to save them and head to the nether to get some ender pearls. Because with ender pearls, I can then make an enderman totem, which will give me even more awesome stuff. Brought me out to a completely different place. We have a room portal down there. I ain't going to that. Okay, this isn't something you see every day. Three endermen just spawn together. Not in a walk forest. Well... <laughs> Let's get them. Come on, get into the old uh, the old boat. Come on. That's one ender pearl, and still only one ender pearl. After doing a bit of micro lensing, I've come to the conclusion there's a bastion in this direction. My iron pickaxe broke, so I'm just working off gold pickaxes. Okay, I'm probably going to need the um. Okay, no, we, we might do the boat clutch. <laughs> I was about to say I might actually use a totem for real, but now we're at a warped forest. We don't actually need a bastion. Instead, we can just use enderman, and that's ender pearl number seven, and finally the eighth one. Let's drop a totem onto there, grab our ender pearls, and put them round this. Put a totem in the middle and we have the enderman totem. Let's see what this does. It's a bad idea to jump in lava because everything will probably burn, but I could use a lava bucket to take myself out. This is basically like 50 ways to die. I'm gonna make a tunnel for myself. Place down the lava. There we go, we are we are slowly dying. Okay, I've gotta be careful here that nothing burns. We should, in theory, right, we need to hold this. So let's do that. And when we use it, okay. I obviously messed up and Everything kind of went into the walls. We've got three ender pearls so far. And I'm guessing the rest of them are somewhere up here. I didn't think I'd have to go above the nether to get my ender pearls, but uh, here we go. <laughs> here they are waiting for me. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get back down. I'm going to hope that eating chorus fruit teleports me down there. It did. <laughs> I have actually just got so lucky there because I almost stranded myself on the on the nether roof. And look at this. There was a ravine here and there is loads and loads of ender pearls that I missed as well. This is perfect. So now I need to head to that bastion so I can get some obsidian and get out of here. Also, I fancy getting a few more emeralds. So why don't we make a villager totem? And now unless I find more diamonds, that's all the totems I can make in the nether. And I'm pretty sure the bastion I was tracking down before is somewhere in this direction. According to the subtitles, we've got hoglins and everything to my right. So maybe it's this way. I'm looking at the end. Yeah, there's loads loads over here. We have found it. I was so close to death, honestly, guys. I, I, I just should probably just pull out my totem, but hey, this guy's giving me a real run around. There's, there's guys everywhere. What am I doing here? Let's just build on out and <laughs> regroup. Let's start by putting the villager totem there, crafting a golden helmet and some golden boots, using a bucket of lava to get rid of this guy like you should, and then seeing what's in the chest. Well, that's more pork chop. That's good. And a much better shovel. Deal with these piglin brutes the good old fashioned way and hopefully eventually find some obsidian. Looks like this is the place. Five pieces already. And we've got more here. So that's eight in total now. Oh my goodness. Okay. We just, <laughs> we accidentally used the old uh, villager one because this brute was after me. This ought to finish him off though. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with me again, mate. Now, what do we get from villagers? We get bread. We don't really need that, but look at all the emeralds. Perfect. It's just everywhere. <laughs> Glad you guys don't like stealing them. Oh, don't be too angry. I'm just uh, having a look at here and see what I can get. Oops. I accidentally hit the pigment and now they are all angry at me. That is, that is bad. That is, well, this is just going to be painful now. There's a sword in here with sweeping edge. I might as well <laughs> grab it. Oh, don't you get annoyed at me now. I'm just trying to deal with these guys. Made it to these triple chests now. Hopefully, at least one of them has obsidian in. That's pig step. You know, we'll take that. Don't know if this is going to anger anyone, but we've got ancient debris. I just want obsidian. You know what? I'll just trade with these guys. Don't be so angry, fellas. I've got free gold. I just found out I already had 11 obsidian anyway. <laughs> Keep the gold, I'm getting out of here. Let's light up this portal. Well, that was an interesting experience in the nether. I would definitely love to try and find a few more diamonds now. And ravines like these are a pretty good place for that. What did I tell you? Just what I needed. Okay, two diamonds at the very least. Oh no, a creeper just dropped. I swear, did you block my... Thank goodness I picked them up. I'm not entirely sure how I took no damage there. I have no idea what just happened. All I know is that I'm heading to the surface. Let's turn all this into blaze powder and create loads of eyes of ender. Realized that I never use these resistant three potions, which are very, very powerful. Chuck down the totem and realized that I have no gold. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let's go to this mob spawner that I totally knew was here. 
Get four golden apples. That's not really what I want, though. Let's mine up this gold. Quickly smelt it. Take out some fish whilst I wait. Craft two more totems. One of them can be a dolphin totem. That looks so cute again. And the other totem... Well, that's going to be a dragon one. But to create that, we're going to need some dragon's breath. So let's get nine pieces of sand. Smelt all of that. See if this ruined portal has anything useful. <laughs> Not really. Craft some glass bottles. And they will later be used in the end. We're going to take this opportunity to shear a load of sheep. And they will be used as beds to take down the ender dragon. I'm kind of curious to see what this dolphin totem does. So I might as well build myself up. And then very gracefully just slip on off. And let's see what we get. We got cod. We got a dolphin's grace potion. I didn't even know that was possible. I really hope I come to an ocean because I just want to test that out. Turns out I've gone past the stronghold. It's back this way somewhere. Which sadly means I can't use these dolphin grace potions in an ocean. So instead I'm... Wait, does it just make me go faster anyway? You definitely feel faster. And then when you swim, yeah, it makes you go faster even more. But it kind of gives you like depth strider when you're walking. A very, very cool potion indeed. They should, they should add it to vanilla Minecraft. If I get that from a dolphin totem, then I can't wait to see what an ender dragon totem gives me. Going to my calculations, it's somewhere around here. If I had to guess, I'd say this is exactly where we need to go. In fact, I'm not even guessing. I know it's definitely the correct place. You see, what did I tell you? 100% the right place. Let's get in here and let's get to the end portal. Iron helmet. Actually, that's no different to a gold helmet, so might as well not bother with it. Oh my god, I was about to say this direction is dead, but no. It was quite a far away one, but we managed to go the right way first time. Let's put all of these in and uh, I have... Are you kidding me? I... Can you imagine if I actually died to that guy? That would be the saddest moment in history. Let's just get to the end. And now I can begin my plan to get the Ender Dragon Totem. But I also need to set up the one cycle. So I'm going to use the stairs. Since I unfortunately have no obsidian. So I've never actually done this before. But I'm, I'm going to see what happens anyway. So my plan is to go something... No, not like that. Instead like that. And then mine all of this away... Yeah, I have no idea how this is going to work. Put water in there so it's a waterlogged block. And the dragon's perched. You better not take out my waterlogged block. Well, it, it did do, it. Right? That doesn't matter. What does matter is that I get hold of some of this dragon's breath. Now, with eight of them, let's go like this. Place the totem on top. And surround this totem with that. And we have the ender dragon totem. That looks so cool. Let's go and break that. It's going to give me one final totem back. And I guess we just, we just die and see what happens. Let's see what we got. <laughs> we got dragon heads and dragon eggs. I, I don't need to defeat you, dragon. I've already got all your produce. Well, let's just test something out here. If I go like that and right click and place a bed on it. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. I've got a plan. Let's just put a stairs there. Drop that down. Okay, that didn't work. I call this the dragon egg one cycle. Place all of those on top like that. I'm telling you, if this actually works, it's going to be a world's first. Let's craft all the beds. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we used our final totem. Okay, here we go. If this works, it's going to be a miracle. I think I'm going to have to be crouched, which means I'm going to stand on the slab. Okay, here we go. I can't, I can't do this. No, because I can't stick it. Yeah, it, <laughs> there's a reason we don't do dragon egg perches. So you know what, eggs? Just just get out of here, all right? We've got no use for you. Just just scatter yourselves. It would have been possible if I, like, crouched and uncrouched. It's just going to be so much effort, though. To be honest, I did completely forget that there is the old, uh, the old-fashioned one cycle that I, I can do. Let's see if I can still do it. Something like that, and then like that. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's not as, like, as effective as the old one, but, you know, if you get it right, look at that. You can still do a good amount of damage. And I just realized this probably could have done with a totem right about then. 